I'd have to pick congestion, but really that's also an issue. Um, already, right, uh, we're seeing congestion emerge on the grids, okay. right? Uh, and the way to address congestion is by investing in the grid, fundamentally investing in the grid. Not only, of course, in terms of, you know, hardening the grid, so in terms of, you know, building new lines, placing outdated equipment, etc. Um, but also uh, in terms of unlocking the flexibility within the grid. So the flexibility of those, uh, you know, the generation, those demand resources, those flexible resources that can help ease congestion and allow us to eke out every little bit of capacity from the grid is so important to be able to keep connecting and keep that pace. We also need the digital technologies at the same time. So we also need to invest in digital technologies to be able to provide visibility and awareness and, and be able to have control over those, those assets and those resources. So for me, yes, congestion is the primary issue we need to be addressing. Um, Public awareness, of course, we also need to we, we also need to we need to get into the mind of the of, of, of the consumer. People need to understand the importance of of the grid to the energy transition. As Paul has picked out the other two, let me talk a bit about permitting, maybe, because that's also a challenge, I believe. Because you said tweaking out, I believe I would call it almost swept the asset. That was yeah. we what we need to do in the distribution grid. We need to digitize it, like you mentioned. But sooner or later we will have to upgrade it as well and also enlarge it, actually add capacity, real capacity. And if that happens in, in a high voltage grid, so in, in our case in Germany in 110 kV, that means that you probably have to have public permitting. And we're again very thankful with the Commission uh, for introducing these, these uh, emergency mechanisms that also allowed us to at least have an emergency permitting procedure for the connection itself. But most often it's not only the connection that we need to do, but it is really upstream capacity that needs to be added and you all know the numbers if you have to build a new 110 kV line it takes up to seven years even longer sometimes that's just too long in order to be paceful uh, so so permitting is also something that we have to think about of course we need to reconcile the environmental aspects of that with the need to build the grid but somehow we need to find a way to be a bit faster in order to keep pace like we said Thank mm -hmm. you.